at a chosen time each day, read your Bible while you may. Do not start until you pray. Ask, what does this passage say? Look for him who is the way. Find a lesson for today. Pray once more and go your way. So, Shall we take it line by line? At a chosen time each day, don't just wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to read my Bible today. Fix a time every day or several times every day and, and stick to that. And at a chosen time each day, read your Bible while you may, because the day may come when you're, you're blind or too busy or have dementia, or something else. Maybe you'll just be ill, and too ill to do it. At a chosen time each day, read your Bible while you may. Do not start until you pray. You'll never understand the Bible unless the Lord enlightens you. So you have to open it and pray before and as you read it, and as we shall see at the end. Do not start until you pray. Ask, what does this passage say? When you've read it, try and sum it up. Summarize it in, in a few sentences to see if you've really got hold of what that particular passage is saying. What actually does it say? Look for him who is the way, because Christ is in all the scriptures and you need to see him in the passage that you've read. He may be there, obviously, or he may be a little bit hidden, but he's there, so look for him who is the way. Find a lesson for today, because the Bible is not just to be known, it's to be lived, it's to be obeyed, it's to be enjoyed, and here's today. So what's the lesson that God's word is speaking to you today? And finally, pray once more and go your way. Thank God for the privilege of reading his word and ask his blessing that you may remember it and love it and remember it again and receive it by faith and it may become part of you until everyone can see something of the beauty of Christ in you, the Bible reader. Thank you very much for listening to me. May the Lord bless every one of you. Bye-bye.